please give a very warm welcome to Mike Loder, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clapping all the waves I actually got in the sacred circle of life. Last couple of audiences, pick a little bit next stop. Just to be lazy, to show appreciation. I like you, sir, you've been stroking your beard throughout the show, that tells me you appreciate art. <laughs> the rest of you, I do appreciate it's the weekend, you're probably quite tired, so if you kind of like my joke, but you can't really commit to laughing. You know how you're driving along a long, lonely highway, another car passes, and you get a little one finger salute? You know what I mean? <laughs> just do that. Just don't even raise your arms, just. That's oh, alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually a bunny rabbit man, that's just a bit weird to make me uncomfortable. Alright, uh, my name is indeed Mike Loader, and as you're using an internet chat room, then you may know me as Lisa, the 19 year old lesbian model. <laughs> Just to avoid any confusion. Um, <laughs> I know some people are uh, drinking out the uh, front. I do have a lovely time tonight. Please do not drink, drive. You kill yourselves and others, and it does lessen the target market for comedy. Um, but I've, I read in a recent study that Caucasians, true story, Caucasians can consume more alcohol than people of Pacific Island origin. Have you heard this? Because we've got more money. Yay! <laughs> It was something scientific. The trouble is, I thought of that joke and stopped reading, so we'll never know why. Uh, the show is, of course, uh, about mental illness. Um, I, I'd, I'd rather turn it to a positive. Um, my favourite mental illness uh, is, of course, Tourette's, number one with a bullet. Awesome. Uh, have you got Tourette's? Some Tourette's person here? Fuck yes, that's awesome. It's, um, see, I originally thought I had Tourette's. Thank God it turns out I'm just incredibly ignorant and vulgar. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what Tourette's is, it's challenges of fucking mild. You basically can go anywhere from mild twitching to But it's specific, like if a large black fat person walks past, you don't go fuck, you go big fat black fat fuck fuck. You go, sorry, sorry. I was just verbalising what I was actually thinking about you in my evil mind. So I, wish, I personally believe um, only MPs, uh, only Tourette's people should be eligible to be MPs. That way they can keep nothing from us. Um, the hands are transcripts. We'll be full of a lot of If I do develop Tourette's, I'll just go to Australia and no one will know. So, um, you're not wrong, g'day. So, uh, yes, my um, second favourite um, mental illness arose in my favourite TV show, uh, When Animals Attack. Have you seen this? Or, to use its full title, When Animals Attack After Americans Do Dumb Shit To Them, because you never get When Animals Attack UK. Anyone seen that show? Tell us what happened. My wife and I were out walking, we saw an animal that looked frightfully dangerous, didn't it, darling? Yes, it rather did. We thought we'd leave it alone, didn't we? <laughs> well, credits in the show. If you, um, as soon as you introduce an American, windows of opportunity fly open. Usually it uh, starts with an American look of bewildered uh, look in their face. A different American, same look. All I was doing, here we go, was poking the wildebeest. <laughs> Whereabouts? In the scrotum. Yeah, <laughs> It didn't bother me, thought it might. Yeah. My favourite American climbed three, three fences to enter the bear's enclosure at the zoo because he thought the bear was beckoning to him. <laughs> now, I'm guessing it was a preening gesture gone wrong. The bear went. <laughs> Off he hopped, hop and he hop. Um, the bear mauled him. Later on, in his defence, he said he was schizophrenic. <laughs> So? <laughs> oh, schizophrenic, that just means there's eight voices in my head going, get away from the fucking bear! I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I concur, I concur, what's concur, I agree, there we go. <laughs> Where is it written, the voices in your head have to be stupid, why can't they be helpful? When I was 17, I really could have done with a helpful lesbian voice, that would be good. Are you trying to make a cum? Slow down, kiss an egg, reach around, you know, just something to help. <laughs> Bloody hell, hell, hell. Everyone should be issued with one of those. Um, I'm a comedian, of course, and so my personal flavour is depression. Uh, guess why? Ha 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 Do not recommend a wheelchair as a fucking lifestyle choice, frankly, but there you go. Um, some people turn to a positive. See, the, um, we had the Munted Olympics recently, the Munted, what do you call it? Special Games. The, um, no, I'm cynical. I'm cynical, but I'm not negative. But I like that if people, you know, turn to sport and, it, and it's, it does good things, it's fabulous. It's social, it keeps them healthy and well, and it gives them purpose, wonderful. But no one's uniformly munted, you know what I mean? You'll have like a, just a head and a flipper, and then you've got a big black guy with an extra finger. Race! How was that fair? 
if you laughed at that, you're evil. <laughs> and some things don't go together. Like the intellectually handicapped people doing the martial arts of the judo, that's fabulous, they have a great time. But intellectually handicapped and javelin? <laughs> Here comes the Yugoslav contestant for the hammer throw, the spin, the spin, the spin. Oh, it's going to be home into the crowd, how unfortunate. <laughs> Still, two new contestants for next year's games. <laughs> Now I tell you that joke so I can tell you this one. Oh no, I'm sorry, I forget. Um, there was a woman, and she was, she was, um, uh, I, I found her inspirational. She's a swimmer, Chinese swimmer, has no arms. Now they train like any other athlete, hours and hours a day. Now the only way she can do laps is to power herself face first into a concrete wall. No. Turn around and swim again. No. Turn around. No. Hour after hour, day after day, week after month after year. She lost, I'm not making this up, by an arm's length. I'm not making that up, that's an absolutely true story. At what point would one of her friends take her aside and go, Honey, running is your sport, eh? <laughs> anyway. So I told that joke on, on TV about the infancy handicapped people, and I got a formal complaint, which makes me very happy, because if it's formal, I get a letter I can frame up. True story. This woman wrote in, I am the mother of... I was disgusted by that, Mike, disgusted. I am the mother of four intellectually handicapped children. What do you say about that? Stop fucking. <laughs> I've noticed the pattern. On that atrociously evil note, I shall leave. You have a wonderful, wonderful night. Yeah.